Okay, peeps, welcome back. So today we're going to be going over our buy, sells, and dividends for June 30th through June 6th. With that being said, let's get it. Okay, so we're going to run through a series of different things here. Um, we'll talk about dividend paying stocks and ETFs purchased, grow stocks purchased. Um, we'll talk about dividends paid out, buys and sells, uh, profit and loss options, and also any crypto purchased. Um, I can tell you guys right now within the last week, we have not bought any crypto. Main reason being is because Bitcoin pulling back. Um, it just makes more sense. The cheaper the prices are, the further th that our purchasing power can go. Again, it's much easier, like, for example, it's much easier to buy Ethereum at, say, $2,000 per ETH versus $4,000 per ETH. I think you guys kind of get my my point here that a dollar of purchasing, a dollar of purchasing power is still equal to a dollar of purchasing power. It's just a question of how much you can get in terms of a return on investment on that dollar. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, so in terms of uh, dividends, we'll go over the dividends from M1 Finance first. So you can see the dividends that we got starting paid out here. Again, we have not put money into this portfolio for quite some time because we've been fo focused on a few other things, but 856 from RYLD, 606 from QYLD, 4 cents from PFLT, 1 cent from SCHD, and $20.36 from PDI. So that total comes out to here, $35.03. Now, if I go over to the trading tab, you guys can see once again, not really a whole lot in trading uh, going on over the last couple of months. Uh, we do plan on putting more money into the M1 Finance portfolio with time. We're just not going to do it yet. Uh, don't exactly know when the right time was going to be, but uh, when we're a little bit more sure of it, I'll let you know. So now let's go ahead and go into Robinhood. So Robinhood, in terms of the dividends that we got paid from this portfolio, we got paid from SPYT and QDTE. So we'll go over that right now. Um, QDTE, as you guys can see, this thing is ripping to the moon. So that's always good. Uh, even after the position that we've had for a while, this thing and adding to it, this thing is still relatively flat, which is if it if, if it's not going up, at least it's not going down. Let's just put it like that. So scroll down here. You guys can see 1893, 21 hours ago. Uh, now I'll go back here and I will go over SPYT. SPYT is definitely one that we need to add more money to. This thing has been pretty consistent in terms of um, holding its price and even going up. So you can see here we have 48.21 shares. Definitely would like to get that to at least 100. Um, so 1625 here on the 3rd of July. So that total for that comes out to $35.18. Now I'm going to go over the profits. So we made $23 on AMZ, $60.34 on TSLP. Uh, Riot, we took a loss of $150.46, which again, that's not really a big deal because we've made plenty of profit on Riot in the past. Um, we've also collected quite a bit of premium from options, so that easily offsets the uh, short-term loss that we took and we didn't have to take this loss it's just that bitcoin looks like it's going to have one of those big 40 percent corrections and we would rather cut our losses now than you know riot drops another five dollars a share and then we have to cut our losses at say a seven or eight hundred dollar loss it's much easier to take a smaller loss that's one thing that uh, we've learned very very well as traders so uh, mara on the flip side made 118 dollars on mara in profit and then $61.38 on YMAG. And again, this is us hitting the sell button for selling the shares for a higher price than we bought it or our average. So those total numbers come out to $112.26, as you guys can see right there. So $262.72 minus the riot loss. And then in terms of options premiums, so I'll go over this right now. So we have uh, Riot 72 covered call entry uh, closing date 72 2024. It was sixteen dollars times one contract. We closed for early for six dollars again because that was uh you know Riot was selling off and we got out of Riot and Mara because we believe we can get it at cheaper prices. Um, so still a ten dollar net positive. That's not bad. Uh, so AMC 72 2024 uh, covered call 719 2024 uh, three dollars times. I think that's yeah three dollars times nine contracts that's so 21 bucks in premium it's not as much as we could have get gotten paid but again the strike price on the amc that we have is 22 dollars um, i'm going to go over that in a minute 
But again, 719, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that is the week that the institutions are trading options. So it should be the third Friday, um, which every single third Friday, that's pretty much when the institutions put on their positions or get out of them. I'm not sure which, but you can see here it is indeed the third Friday. So SoFi, uh, 7-3 cover call entry, exit date 8-2-2024, 18 dollars times two contracts. Uh, the strike price on that is $7.50. The strike price on Riot, just so you all know, was $11, but of course, Riot went down. So Palantir is 7.3, entry, cover call, exit date, 7.12, 2024, $28 times one contract. And the strike price is $27 on that, so we're trying to allow for a little bit more upside here. So um, in terms of the options premiums, that comes out to $95 for the week. Um, and again... A lot of the premiums that we were getting paid were from the miners. We can always pick the miners back up. Uh, but like I said, anything crypto related at this point, we're just going to sit back and wait for this thing to pull back to start getting in heavy and either to our entry points or also getting some kind of major bullish reversal on the daily time frame. So that total as of this week comes out to $277.47. However, we also did make another $1,300 in futures, which is not going to be accounted for in this video, but if we did account for it, it would actually be $1,577.47 for this week. So you guys can see the different options positions we have here. We closed quite a few, so we got out of Mara and Riot. Uh, we no longer have those shares. We'll go over that in a minute. But the uh, positions that we have now is, so we got two Palantir. You can see the second one we just opened up. That's that $27 call. Uh, so Palantir is actually above $27 right now, which means, I mean, if it keeps up at this rate, likely we probably are going to get our shares called away. Uh, SoFi, so we have basically the exact same um, strike price here, so $750. So that's basically 700 shares worth. Um, there are two different expiration dates. So one is in six days, the other one's in roughly about a month. And then the AMC $22 calls. Um, I actually want to go over that with you guys right now. So we've talked about this on this channel before that AMC has uh, two massively, they're like eye popping gaps. You can't, you can look at the charts and literally not even miss them. That's how obvious it is. Ranging from somewhere between 1650 to 1950, I think it is. And then roughly about 36 to $43. Um, so we're expecting those gaps to get filled at some point. Obviously the first one would be around $22. So if I go out here to the 19th, which again is not really that far, you guys can see that the top strike price they have here is $22, but there is a massive, huge amount of interest. So 42,000 contracts that tells me that there is a pretty strong chance here that AMC is going to get some kind of squeeze uh, not too far off in the future. And we didn't put ours at the money this time because, again, if it does end up screaming to the upside by that point in time, we want to give some time to run. Um, so you can see pretty much almost every single one of these other uh, one, of, every single one of these other contracts is basically like there is not even close to the same level of interest. So. The, the closest one I think was this one was 12,000. Um, just keep on going down the list here. You guys can see obvious as day, there's not as much interest. But at that $22 strike price, there is 42,000 contracts on the sell side. And again, that's the sell call. That's a uh, bearish, that's actually a bearish stance. But if you're looking to make profit, you want your shares to get called away to profit, right? So technically it's actually bullish. Um, However, if I'm going to the buy puts or the buy call side, which again is also a bullish, this is a bullish strategy actually. Um, so you can see here 42,000 contracts at the $22 strike price. Um, I, I mean, I don't think I really need to say much more than that. It doesn't guarantee that it's going to hit that price, but I just want to throw that out there. So in terms of what we added this week, uh, the buys, so we have Squee, GUI, AMZ, MRNY, Riot, uh, which we did end up selling, unfortunately, uh, SoFi, YMAG, NVIDI, QDTE, PLTR, which is Palantir, uh, MSTY, AIPI, which is the uh, Rex, Rex Shares AI ETF, NVIDIA, the actual company, the actual NVIDIA stock, and XDTE. 
So we'll go ahead and go over that now. So the first one I'm going to go over here is GUI. A lot of these, we just kind of wanted to get up to 100 shares. The MAG7 companies are relatively safe, so we're not too worried about that. Um, so if I go down here, you guys can see we bought another 10 shares on the second. So AMSI, um, I have to admit, AMSI's prices hold pretty steady for a long time, so that's very impressive. As you guys can see, we, um, so it looks like, yeah, yeah. So we did take some profit on this. Um, there is of course a pending dividend, dividend here, as you guys can see, but, uh, before we actually sold this for a profit and went back in, we did buy roughly about 13 and a half shares, as you guys can see there. So I'm going to go now even further down. Uh, the next one on the list is MRNY. Again, Moderna is massively oversold in my opinion. I think it has... Uh, I think it's long overdue for a squeeze, so I expect this one to probably go up at some point. When exactly, I don't know, but uh, we'll touch on that in a separate video. So going over here, you guys can see we bought uh, two shares here. That was out of some profit we took, and then, of course, we're going to get paid a dividend. So uh, that is two days from now. So I'm not going to go over the Riot one because, as you guys can see, uh, Riot is not in here. Neither is Mara. It's usually somewhere up here at the top next to BTBT. Um, however, I will go over SoFi. So as soon as it loads, uh, give it just a second. So here we go. So average cost, $691 times 700 shares. So it's about $5,000. Um, Got to go down here. and. You guys can see that we bought another 100 shares here on July 5th. Just wanted to make it roughly about that nice round 5K number. So now going down the list here, you guys can see we added massively, and I do mean massively, to YMAG. So currently sitting at 196.75 shares. That's almost 200 shares. So you guys can see that we actually bought quite a few. Well, there was some buys and sells and all that stuff going on in between. But uh, so we got sell buy, sell buy. Um, looks like we made some kind of purchase here. So $250, uh, 11.68 shares, as you guys can see right there. And then also bought another $1,000 worth here and another $700 worth here. So that comes out to about 86 shares. And of course, we're doing the dividend capture strategy. So we're basically front running the next following X dividend date for this. Uh, let's see if I can find it. So next one here is NVIDIA. NVIDIA and NVIDIA is actually having a pullback. So we may continue buying some of that too, even though the X date is quite a ways away. Pending dividend here. Um, Let's go to show more real quick. Uh, scroll up a little bit, and you guys can see that we bought 0.78 shares here. Again, that's from that AMZ profit, which was 23 bucks because NVIDIA was down. Um, again, another 22.50. Um, I don't remember what this was from, honestly. So $150, uh, 5.13 shares here on the third, and then another 19.94 shares on the third. Also, that was in advance of the. Um, I believe that was in, in advance of the X date, if I'm not mistaken. I think the X date was on the 5th or yesterday. So next one we're going to go over here is QDTE. So we did get dividends from this one, and we did also buy this one. Because, again, this is a weekly payer. This is not a monthly payer, so it does pay every single week. Um, you guys can see that we bought 1.53 shares here and also another 0.83 shares here. PLTR, let's see where this one is. Um, here we go, Palantir. So you guys can see that Palantir is just a rocket ship at this point. I mean, it's just getting stupid. So um, this thing is up huge as of yesterday. I mean, it just took off like a beast it's up over five percent over 27 dollars a share which you guys remember looking at the uh, 27 dollars sell call that we have so if it closes up there we're going to get a nice juicy profit on both of those sell call um, strike prices plus we're also going to uh, 
get all the money back and then we'll turn around and just buy more Palantir is what we're going to do. So um, on the third here, you guys can see that we bought 100 shares at 26.11. So the price was a little expensive, but again, Palantir is an AI play and AI is going to be massive in the future. It's going to be absolutely huge. Um, I, th I think if I'm being completely honest, even it, it might even be possible for us to ad underestimate just how big AI is going to be in the next, um, I would say, five to 15 years. So MSTY, uh, we bought another 18.51 shares here on the third, as you guys can see. Uh, we did add some AIPI as well, because again, that X date is coming up and we definitely want to get exposure to AI anything. AI related. It does not matter what it is because if AI is going to become a multi multi trillion dollar industry by the 20, 2030 and 2040, we want to have as much of that piece of the pie as possible because again, I think we are very, very early in the AI stages. So you can see we have 27 shares here. Um, they don't yet have the buying in dollars. So that's how you know that the uh, market cap is still relatively small. So yeah, market cap's only 11 million. That's tiny. So I suspect this thing's probably going to grow over time substantially, just like Fepi did. So you can see we bought five shares here at 54.24, 20 shares here at 55.36 on the third and the fifth. And there's still plenty of time to buy AI, AIPI in advance of its X date. So next one here is going to be NVIDIA, the actual NVIDIA stock. And again, this is after the 10 to 1 stock split. So uh, we do want to add more shares to this, but kind of the rule of thumb that we're going to use here is we're not going to buy NVIDIA unless it's at least 5% down from our cost basis. Okay, So it has to be at least 5% down from our cost basis and 5% down from the recent swing high that it had. As you guys can see, it was only down 2% as of yesterday. So we, if in order for us to buy more to justify buying on the dip, since it's a growth stock and it doesn't pay uh, dividends, and we don't have 100 shares to do options yet, we are only going to buy if it's more than 5% down on those metrics. So we have 10 shares. Um, you guys can see we bought 10 shares at 127.82 here. Again, 127.82 is still substantially lower than the previous swing high. And the next one is XDTE. Yes, we did pick up the brother of QDTE here. So we got 22 shares as of right now. And you can see the buys here. So 19 at 5275 and three at 5281 on the fifth. So the reason why we got into NVIDIA and AIPI specifically, and we also picked up more NVIDIA is because of the AI narrative, okay? So Here's an article that says that they think that NVIDIA itself could be a $10 trillion market cap by 2030. I'm, I'm going to say this again. Okay. I'm going to say this as I've said before. I think going into the future, NVIDIA is probably going to be the kingmaker of the MAG7. I think it's possible for it to, to for it to hit $10 trillion. You could literally put AI into anything in society. Literally anything. Doesn't matter. Cell phone, car, uh, business computers, laptops, uh, social media profiles robots, uh, you know, semis, uh, you can put them into like QR codes, food scanners. I mean, the list goes on and on. You can, you can just about put AI literally into anything. You can put it into your fridge. You can put it into your oven. I can go on and on about this. So we want to get a piece of the pie, anything AI related. Okay. So AI PI has pretty much all basically AI stocks. Okay. Fepi also has some of those. So you got ARM, Palantir. Of course, we have some of the actual Palantir and NVIDIA, not just the AI PI. Again, trying to get our hands in the AI pot, so to speak. All these other companies, right? Um, and again, the X dividend date for this is, let's see if I can find it. So the first one here is, or the first declaration, I should say, is 725. So uh, we got roughly about another three weeks until we get that. Plenty of time to buy the dip. And also to just simply buy shares before then. And the pay date is going to be towards the end of the month. Uh, Fepi does also have some of this. So there's there's that. Um, that's also uh, something that we own 100 shares of. So 
you guys can see the dividends have been very consistent for this. The market cap of this is much bigger than AIPI because again, it's been around for a while. So you have a lot of also AI related companies like Tesla, uh, Google's now in AI, Amazon probably has some AI, wouldn't doubt it. Apple's now getting on in the AI train. You have AMD, which is a semiconductor company. Anything chip related could also be AI could be worked into that. As you guys know, Nvidia does AI chips. Um, and we also have over, uh, I think it's like roughly about nine or 10 grand in Tesla or anything Tesla related. So as you guys know, Tesla is also very bullish on AI. So we want to get a piece of that pie as much as possible. I think going into the future, Nvidia is probably going to stay number one. And I think that Tesla will be number two, but they'll be, they'll be pretty close in my opinion. I think they'll be neck and neck. So Anyways, this is the buy, sells, and dividends for the week. Hope you all enjoyed this content. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Peace.